I'm just making this little video of my yard that I'm gonna walk around and show you. Um, so I have that. I might bring that in the house, I'm not sure yet. We're expecting some geraniums and, what do you call those things? Oh, marigolds. Then we have that, and I have these. One more week, I'll be getting ready to go back to school. Oh well, I did bring this in for the winter and it bloomed again, look at that. So, hey, learned something new. And you know, the geraniums, these, I really like these. These are great. And whatever those doohickeys are, my beautiful, geraniums um had a lot going on i just cleaned up oh i replanted these these over here and the blueberry plant eh, it's not doing anything but i just cleaned out a little bit in there i planted the little yellow rose my sister gave me and I got that from the dump. So once again, more. These rose bushes were new this year. And this little feature, the stump is starting to rot. So it won't be long before that planter is gonna be on the ground. But another one of those roses so everything, oh, the other thing that we did this year that's new, we used to have the grill on the corner and uh, I've done away with that and I've got the morning glory climbing there. It's a marigold. They were late to bloom, but they actually eventually came up. And look at this beauty. I don't know if that's gonna come back, but I got that bulb from I think the Dollar Tree. Another hydrangea, another climbing morning glory. And looks like, oh, my neighbors, landscapers are here. So I put another hydrangea here. I'm just doing a bit of weeding there. So there's another marigold. And I had some more, but apparently the bunnies got them. There's one, another hydrangea I'm trying to propagate. Ooh, look, there's a little toady. Hello. A little toad. There's been a lot of toads. I think maybe because it's been so wet. <coughs> a lot of rain. And I've got my cone flower. So I put one of those tiger lilies in there. Next year, I'm definitely gonna have to do some splitting of these sedum, because they've really overgrown. Um, I put some sedum there. Seems like sedum is just something that does very well here, no matter where you put it. The corabelle, I give up on. I tried to propagate the, what do you call that thing, um, it's a peony, but it's probably not going to come back. Sedum, sedum, and I did this last year and it actually is starting to take, so if I had another one of those little bushes, that would be great. That would work out. and. Let's see. Oh, these, I don't know what these are called, like blue fern or whatever. I don't know the name of them. I wanna split this one next spring and then continue to put it around that tree. And the seagrass is doing fabulous. It's kind of off center, I think, because the wind, that's the only reason. Then I have some more morning glory climbing around my figure eight infinity um, wire things. 
And you seem to be doing okay. Yeah. And finally, we have our our marigolds that I put in here that grew and that are growing around our boulder. <laughs> Talk much, Lindsay? So it's all coming together. You can see that everything looks great. And, you know, the whole house. Lots of flowers. I love the hydrangea. And the hydrangeas are really taking off here. So the sedum is going to have to definitely be cut way back or divided or whatever. You know, same thing. And it looks like I'm going to have these hydrangea bushes really filling in, which works for me. I love them. I love having the continuous bloom of the hydrangea. I know I'm going to get some other morning glory, but look at these. Aren't they great? So that's my video, August 20th. Summer's coming to an end. Tornado's on its way. I forget. Not tornado. Isabel corrected me already once. Hurricane. I don't know what the name of the hurricane is, but it's coming. And we're prepared. So, all right. Bye.